today's video I'm going to be making one of my most requested products which is this by Soap and Glory. It's their Flake Away Scrub. I absolutely hate that name but so many of you love this and want a dupe of it so I'm going to go through how I worked that out um, now. So dupes are just to help us be better formulators so I don't copy I just do my interpretation. They're very cheap to buy, so this is really just a learning exercise. And if you want to make it for yourself because you have the ingredients, I just look at the ingredients, I put them in a table, I list them by function, usage rate, work all of that out. If you want to see how I dupe products, there is a specific video on that that you can view on my channel. And I've also broken it all down in the PDF on Patreon, um, so you can check that out for the full process. Um, but I got my ingredients list from here. Let's carry on. So as well as working all that out, I had to have a look at the texture and it's really quite thick. There's some kind of larger salt bits in there and then, but most of all, it's quite smooth. Um, so I'm gonna try and replicate the texture as well as the product. And uh, yeah, let's see how I get on. So before we start adding to this lovely bowl, um, all of the ingredients and where I got them from and my reasoning behind them and everything, that's all in the PDF, which is available on my Patreon, which is linked below. Um, if you haven't checked out Patreon yet, go and have a look because all of my formulas are on there along with two exclusive formulas every month. There's also a community chat for the VIP and mentoring patient, uh, patrons. I also do a bit of mentoring for small businesses um, and you can message me on there. So go and check that out. And uh, thank you to my VIP patrons listed here. And let's get on with making this scrub. First thing listed in the ingredients, glycerin. I'm using vegetable glycerin and this is gonna be heated into a water bath because we want it to be around the same temperature as our oil phase which I'm going to be adding now. So for the oil phase we need glycerol sterate PEG 100 that is the emulsifier that they have listed in the ingredients so I'm using the same one it's going to pop that into the bowl. Then they're also using uh, caprylic, capric triglycerides which is here so we're going to add that to the bowl as well. That's a very lightweight emollient. Then we have polysorbate 20. This is a solubilizer for any oils, so this will help solubilize the oils as well as the emulsifier and stop that oily kind of residue in your bath, if you have a bath or in the shower. Then we have sweet almond oil and grapeseed oil. These along with the shea butter uh, were listed very low down in the ingredients, further down than the fragrance, etc. which although they're their selling points for the scrub, are used then in very low amounts. Um, so I'm gonna add all of these three now. And that is our oil phase. So we're gonna heat this now to melt all of this down. Um, and heat the glycerin up to around the same temperature. And then I will be emulsifying these. My stick blender is uh, in with the dishes at the moment, so I'm going to use a hand whisk to do it. Um, I don't mind this scrub being a little bit whisked up, but you would stick blend that to emulsify it before carrying on. So let's get this in the water bath and then we'll come back when this is all melted. Okay, we're back and that's all melted down glycerin's at the same temperature as the oils so we can pour the glycerin into the oils. Like I said I'm just going to use this because my stick blender is in the wash. So Now you should be using a stick blender for this really because that is what is going to emulsify this properly but we'll work out with what we have for today. Okay, and we need to let this cool down now so that we can then add our other ingredients. Okay, let's split that up a little bit by putting it in the fridge. So I'm just going to stir it up 
but that's emulsified nicely and I'm just going to give it another whisk just to smooth it out a little bit. So now we can add our cool down ingredients and we'll start off with the liquid ones. Uh, this is Salagard PCG, it's a water soluble broad spectrum preservative that's good with surfactants and a broad pH range and I just find this is really reliable. It seems to work in everything that I put it in that it's compatible with and um, yeah I just highly recommend it. Um, the INCI for this will be in the PDF so that you can check if it's something different and um, name something different in your country. So I'll put some of that in. Then we've got the fragrance. You can get the Soap and Glory fragrance, I think, um, but I'm not sure if it's available for this particular product. So I've just gone for um, Rose and Bergamot sort of fragrance oil. Um, it smells fairly similar, so we'll go for that. You can use what you want. And then we have some isopropyl myristate. My this was listed in the ingredients as well. Um, very low down, so a very small amount, but we'll add this. We're adding it in the cool down phase. Uh, it is heat stable, but up to 80 degrees. And sometimes with a water bath, you can get close to that. So I didn't want to risk it. So it's better added to the cool down phase to keep it stable. And we're going to mix these in again. have a nice kind of icing texture. Excuse the bubbles, but that's what you get from whisking. Now, if we take a look at the Soap and Glory, it is sort of a peachy color. Um, and obviously this is very white. So do I want to add any color to it or not? These dyes are from Aromantic. You can get water soluble and uh, non water soluble. And um, because we have the glycerin in here, we're fine. And these are really concentrated, so you don't want to add directly to your product because they can come out quite fast and you don't want to be caught out. So what I've done here is added a tiny little bit of yellow and red to a beaker because I think it's kind of a peachy colour but a very faint peachy colour and what I'm going to do is just take the tiniest bit of this mixture and just do that. We're not too far off, especially when we have the salt and things, so I think I'm going to leave it here. Possibly go a touch darker, but I think I think we'll keep it there. Right, so now we need our exfoliant cool down ingredients, of which sodium chloride, your salt. Um, what I've done is a mixture of mostly fine grain, um, but with some sort of larger grain salt in there as well, because I did find that in the actual one. It lists sugar, so I've got some fine caster sugar here as well. And then I didn't have the apricot kernel powder, but I did have some jojoba seeds, uh, jojoba seeds, so I am going to use those just a little bit just for those little speckles that you see throughout. And then we'll just mix this in by hand. And you can see the texture there. And remember, scrubs always firm up. So I'm not gonna thicken this up at, at this point. I'm going to put it straight in the tub and then we'll check on the consistency tomorrow once it's all reached its final texture. The tubs, I'm just using these. Um, I got them off Amazon. You can see my Amazon storefront link below, um, which shows you where I get them from, but I thought they're quite nice.
side by side. Obviously theirs is still quite a lot darker. Probably could have got away with a bit more colour. But yeah, let's check on it in the morning and see how the textures compare. It's the next day, I've let them sit for a little bit and this is what we've got. This is the original, this is mine. Texture, very similar. Colour, not so much, but that's easily adjusted with a bit of red and yellow mixed together. That did seem to do the trick, but I didn't want to add too much. So let's check out the textures. This is the original one. You can see it's quite thick. It's a little bit tacky. And it doesn't drop that easily. Okay, and then let's compare mine. And then this is my one. Possibly a little bit softer. But similar kind of dropping consistency. I'm quite pleased with it. It's quite a similar dupe. I think it's just really the colour that's off and obviously I use the jojoba seeds instead of the abricot or kernel powder. But if you can get that, use that. But yeah, it's quite a nice scrub. So let's give them a little test in the sink. Sorry this video was a little bit low energy. Um, I'm having my good days and bad days at the moment, so <laughs> it is what it is, but I am really pleased with this dupe formulation. This is the original, you can see me washing off my arm at the moment, and it goes on really well, it washes off cleanly, your arm doesn't feel greasy. Um, it's possibly a little bit more viscous and sticky in the jar. Um, then mine feels a little bit softer, if I'm honest. I possibly like it a little bit better um, but it goes on very similarly um, it's very easy to spread and it emulsifies nice and easily and it rinses off without leaving any sticky residue or anything and how scrubby this is it's not very um, I noticed that about the original it's quite fine salt they've used for the most part with some little chunks in it obviously if you've got any <laughs> cuts or grazes or sensitive skin don't use a salt scrub because it will sting um, but otherwise it's very very nice and you can pretty much use this formula and then just tweak it to how you like it using either more granular exfoliants or finer ones, whatever you want to do. This was my best guess and I'm very pleased with it. Aside from the colour, it's pretty spot on, so hopefully you're happy with this formulation. Um, try it out, let me know what you think. Um, the formula, as usual, is available on my Patreon, as I mentioned earlier, along with a PDF explaining the duping process and why I chose what I chose. So hopefully you find that useful. The link's below and I'll see you in the next video where hopefully I'm a little bit more high energy than I was today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.